What's up guys, I just finished up the haircut for today's vlog. I'm really excited to show it to you guys because um, what I decided to do today, I've been watching your comments uh, throughout this series of videos every day pretty much, and I've noticed that there's a lot of requests for more basic haircuts. So I know a lot of you guys are students out there, and even if you're not a student, I think you can take a lot from a basic haircut. So what we did today was a classic graduated bob. Now, uh, we're working with horizontal sections throughout this entire haircut. So I love that. It's a, it's a great exercise. It allows you to uh, really work on building shape, but also works on your elevation because you have to really focus on elevation throughout this whole cut. So I hope you guys like it. Let me know if you want to see more of these basic classic structures and I'll try to break them down the best that I can. Thank you guys for, uh, for always watching these videos and sharing your thoughts uh, in the comments. So uh, here we go. All right guys, so we're gonna start off our sectioning uh, going down the parietal ridge, back past mid crown, and then down parietal ridge uh, to kind of section off a nice rectangle shape on the top of the head. Now, I wanna really break down my thought process on my sectioning because a lot of people have been asking questions about it. I feel like my sectioning is very standard, but I wanna show, share with you guys the why behind why I section uh, the hair the, the way that I do. So what I do is I look at every corner of the head and I section that away as a different panel. So the top section, um, parietal ridge, I look at it as a corner, mid crown I look at as a corner. Uh, so that makes up that top section of the head. And then I look at the division point of the head, the front and the back, and I section that off, which gives me this little temple area section. Then I go down center back, like you can see there, I comb everything over. And then if you think about it, what would be my next corner would be the occipital bone where the head starts to kind of curve up and away and then down and under towards the nape. So I'll section away these two panels, um, occipital bone up to crown, and then uh, occipital bone down to nape is my other section. So what that's going to do for me is really just separate each corner. So as I work my elevation up the head and I'm working the shape of the haircut, I can focus on each corner and how it's going to shift and how that elevation is going to change. So now I'm going to start zero degree elevation. Now I'm doing this with comb tension. The reason I use my comb at first is to really just hold the hair in place. Then I go through and if I don't love the line that it's created, then I go through and um, freehand and cut a little bit more of the line. But I use the comb to, to start the guideline and then decide from there if I want to continue and cut more. Now I slightly elevate the hair. We're gonna start our elevation right in the occipital bone area. Um, so I'm working through slight bit of elevation, half inch section, um, and just adding a little bit of a bevel to the edge of that, uh, the bottom nape area of the haircut. So now I'm gonna work horizontal sectioning throughout the rest of the haircut. I really wanted to focus on horizontal sectioning because um, this is a, a great exercise uh, for your brain to work an entire haircut in one way and then um, go back and do a haircut the complete opposite way. I think you should know both ways of cutting. Um, so I didn't want to do a combination cut of vertical and horizontal. I wanted to just do the entire cut horizontal so you could really focus on elevation. This is uh, cutting horizontally is harder uh, for weight control. A lot of people think that this would be a, a heavier way of cutting. It's not necessarily a heavier way of cutting. The reason it ends up being heavier is because um, a lot of people drop their elbow and drop their hand down because um, it's not as comfortable. So just going through working your mind and um, practicing focusing on your elevation throughout the entire cut is key in this. So I'm working through, That's a, the horizontal line is, is following parallel to my chest. I'm standing straight in the back of the head and working that line um, straight across. So it will build up a little bit of weight towards the corner. Um, so it's, uh, you could call it a square back. Um, I like to call it an even back um, because the entire thing is even throughout the section. So working those horizontal sections, you can see my elevation there and you can see the thickness of each 
parting that I'm taking is only about a half an inch. That's really important uh, when you're working horizontally not to take too much hair. A lot of people want to take a ton of hair to get a haircut done faster. But what they're going to do, if you if I grabbed too much hair at once, that's why I'm going to get that heavy top layer because I would be pulling the hair all the way from the top crown area down and then that elevation would be super low. What I'm going to do throughout this haircut is each section I'm elevating a little bit more. So as I elevate it a little bit more, it's it's making the, the, uh, the line and the graduation lighter uh, throughout the cut. So now we're going to start working in the temple area. I'm going to take, again, pretty much half inch. We're going to start off, this is an inch uh, wide section. Uh, working that baseline, I want to follow right along the chin. Um, so I'm just taking horizontal sections, uh, slightly elevating it at this point. So the first section is straight down uh, with little tension in my fingers. And then the all the sections after that are slightly elevated to just lighten up the uh, the section add a little bit of length towards the chin because I want it to follow the jawline and then tuck around the chin I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side so a little bit of tension in my fingers work that line connect it to the back keep working horizontally start to elevate the hair slightly and when you elevate the hair, you're over directing the very front part. So right at the hairline, that's being over directed uh, because the head starts to move away. So that's why you get that little bit of longer piece right around the chin. All right, so as I work my fingers through there, you can see that shape kind of coming to life. Uh, it's looking pretty cool. So now I'm gonna take a right hand side parting, uh, comb all the hair down exactly the way that it's going to live uh, as best as I can when it's wet. Obviously, once we blow it dry, we'll really see how it's going to live in the haircut. And just combing, elevating it nice and high. Um, we'll keep it at pretty much a 45 degree angle throughout the entire thing. So you can see right on the side of the head as well. Uh, nice high elevation. That's going to keep from it being too heavy um, around the chin line. I, I like to take a little bit of weight out of there because then when I go through and do my detailed lines at the end, I'm not cutting through so much hair it's not so stacked up so working that 45 degree angle um, as I work more on the top of the head on this side because the head shape is shifting away um, you got to realize that right now I'm pretty much holding this hair at a zero degree angle on the top I know that sounds confusing but that's the way that I think about it because straight up from the top of the head to me is 90 degrees so this coming straight out from the head uh, when you're working on the top of the head is more like zero so it's going to be very heavy so now we're going to go through, we're going to blow dry the hair uh, really quick, doing a flat wrap blow dry to connect the hair to the head shape. Um, and that's going to help us work the hair dry. Now we're going to go through with our Vibra Straight Iron as well, iron the hair out and uh, get it ready for dry cutting. All right, so as we move into the dry cutting portion, a question I get asked all the time is, what is my favorite scissor for wet cutting and dry cutting? The Mizutani DB20 scissor is my go-to scissor. I use it at a 5.7 5 inch length. Uh, it's nano powder metal. It's a very soft metal. It grips the hair like no other scissor out there. Um, and you can't get another scissor uh, from any other company made of nano powder metal. Uh, so this is definitely my, my key scissor for every haircut that I do. So if you're looking for a new scissor, definitely check out freesaloneducation.com because I got a great deal uh, right now on all Mizutani scissors on the website. So go check it out. Um, so I'm going through adding in the details, doing point cutting. So I'm point cutting the edges throughout this because I really want to soften the entire top of the haircut. And and really clean up all those little hairs that are hanging over. The reason they're hanging over is because I did the hair cut wet and it wasn't exactly how she's gonna wear it. So now I just go through, clean it up, and, and we're good to go. Now, this is the most important part of the haircut. This is something I'll spend a lot of time on. It's detailing the outer perimeter of the cut using the tip of the scissor. Uh, this is why I like to have a little bit shorter scissor because the tip is a lot stronger. Uh, and just go through and working that line. And what I wanted to do is add my own personal touch to this haircut. So I like that kind of buildup of weight behind the ear. So I wanted to create that nice little curve area and then follow that along the jawbone and then tuck it around the chin with a little bit of extra length. So I uh, go through and I build that line in 
with the scissor. This is what's gonna make your haircut stand out from everybody else in your town. So just uh, these little details are what separate a good hairdresser from a great one. All right, so we're just finishing it up. I'm still adding in. I'm, I comb the hair down. I wanna see how it's falling. Uh, once I start combing the hair and, and that line stays solid in there, I know that I have it where I want it and my guests will be able to blow dry their hair and have that same line. So just going in, finishing it up. Now, one thing I wanna tell you guys, please keep posting in the comments below. I love seeing your comments. I love seeing your feedback. And uh, really, I read every single one of them. So uh, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube, post away. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you liked it. All right, guys, if you like this cut, make sure you hit that like button and share this video with all of your friends. I really appreciate uh, all of you guys supporting what I'm doing uh, with creating these videos every day. It means a lot. So again, hit that share button and comment below. Let me know what you think. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks.